Hey guys and welcome to another Florence Road training session. My name's Dave and I'm going to be taking you through our admiration for SoundCloud and how you can put a SoundCloud music player on your website very, very simply. So why we use SoundCloud? It's just brilliant for uploading your, your music and you can put them into sets and you can link through to iTunes and sell your music as well. One of the really good things about it and what sets it apart from the other uh, music players is simplicity. It's just so simple to get it up onto the website and for you to manage your own songs. And secondly, look, it plays on iPads and the various other tablets and, and mobile phones using a HTML5 widget, which probably means absolutely nothing to you at all. But let's just understand that it does work. So how do we do it? How do we put them on? Firstly, obviously, you need a SoundCloud account. So if you haven't got one, sign up for one. Once you've got one, we're using Neil Adams' site here. We just go to Tracks and you'd upload. If you're uploading your tracks, you just hit the Upload and Share button. I'm not going to go through those simple details of uploading. I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. But one thing to bear in mind, when you do upload it, make sure you, the song is public. Uh, that way we can um, take it from SoundCloud and put it onto the site. And also you have it enabled so that you can um, hit, use the share button. So when you upload, you have all your individual tracks would probably look something like this. And we recommend you put them into a set. And when you put them into a set, it would look a little bit like this. You have one music player and three buttons underneath. Cool. So we're going to share it. We're just going to click the share button and a little widget pops up. I wouldn't use these buttons below. I would just go straight to edit your widget. And it's going to pop up with another little window and that way you can change the colors of it if you want to change the colors. So at the moment it's kind of an orangey color. You can make it any color that you want to suit your website or your brand. Uh, Neil's added a picture in, in, in here in his set which is great. So um, you know that'll pull through to the website as well. I highly recommend you don't hit play automatically. I think there's nothing worse than going to a website, be it at work or wherever, and the music starts playing and you're freaking out trying to find the stop button. So please don't push play automatically, but yes, you can show your artwork. Um, there's a HTML5 version, which is the new coding version, works on um, iPads and, and mobiles. The old Flash version, mini and artwork, you need a paid account for. So we're just going to copy this code. Don't use the WordPress plugin. We can install a plugin if you like and then you can use that code but it's just as easy just to grab this code. So just copy that code and we're going to go to the dashboard and so this is Neil's dashboard and we're going to stick it in the sidebar. So I'm going to go appearance and then widgets and then we'll go over to the sidebar once it loads and we've already created a text box here for it so I'm going to delete it so um, you guys can follow what I'm doing but we're going to grab a text box and we're going to put that in We'll give it a title and then we just paste the code in, which goes in as HTML, so it might look a little bit funny to you, um, but we'll explain how it works. And then make sure you hit save and then we'll head over to his website and you can see there's the play there. I'm just going to refresh it because this is one that we did earlier. And there we go. So you can see it's a little bit bigger than, um, than it needs to be, so we're going to just change the size. So to change the size, you go back. Width is 100%, which means if the sidebar is bigger on some people's sites, then it'll always be, it'll always fill the sidebar perfectly. And height is a particular number. We couldn't make it 100%, or it would scroll all the way down off the page. So height, we're going to make it. Let's just change that to 350, and we'll go and have a look. It's a bit of trial and error, and we hit refresh. I always hit just F5 for refresh, so it refreshes, and still a little bit of room. But you know what? We might leave it like that because Neil might want to add another fourth song or a fifth song, and he won't have to go back in and change it. So that's pretty much it. Now, the only other thing is if you want to paste the code into a post, so let's say you've got it on a particular page instead, we'll just go to add a new post, and we'll just type in music player, and we're going to paste the code in. Now remember, this is the visual and this is HTML. We're pasting in HTML, so we need to switch it to HTML. Hit Control V, which is what I always do for paste, or you can obviously go and go Edit Paste if you want, but Control V is your little shortcut. Um, and then we're just going to preview it. Beautiful. So it comes through. As you can see, it's wider than the other one because it goes to 100%. And that's it. Um, if you paste it into visual, it, it won't work. It'll just come through as code, but you'll you'll know then how to change it. So I hope that was useful and uh, and happy uploading to SoundCloud and, and pulling through to your websites.